In this expression, we have two terms. First, let's look at the numerical part. We have 2 and 6. Therefore, the highest common factor for these two numerical terms would be 2. Let's look at algebraic terms. d square d. So, we can have d here. What is left behind would be d plus 3e cubed. Let's check. 2d times d will give us 2d squared. 2d times positive 3e cubed will give us 6de cubed. Check again. Is there any common factors between the two terms? No more. And it means it has been completely factorized. Next. With 5d minus 25d squared, 5 would be the highest common factor of these two terms. Next, d. And now, 5d, I have removed 5d as a common factor. I'm left with 1. And next, we will have 5d left here. Check. 5d times 1 gives us 5d. 5d times negative 5d will give us negative 25d squared. Check again. Can this be further factorized? No. And therefore, this is the completely factorized form. Now, look at this. Try to factorize these three terms completely. You are given 30 seconds. Fourteen, twenty-one, seven. The common factor is 7. There's A, but there isn't any A here. C, I can have 1. D, I could have 1. And what's left behind? 2a plus 3c minus d. Let's check. 7cd times 2a gives us 14acd. 7cd times 3c will give us 21c squared d and 7cd times negative d will give us negative 7cd squared check there isn't any common factors among the three terms here therefore this is completely factorized